Hello everyone, this is Kinkoni LT. This video, I will show you our new product. This is touch switch panel. Uh, this switch panel have two, two gun, four gun, and a six gun slivers. So you can see, now you can press on and off, just uh, touch the button. You can click uh, for the lamp on and off. And this is for mechanic version. And this is for touch version. So now you can use this touch version and instead of this mechanic verse. So now I will tell you how to do with it with the relay controller with the new product. Now let's look at the touch switch panel. Uh, this is three verse, two gun and uh, four gun and six gun. Uh, you can see that's the back of the switch. This is two gun and uh, four gun and uh, six. We can take example for the six gun and uh, compare with the mechanical version. Uh, we can see I can remove this socket just like this. Remove and remove this one. And you can see this test. And this is six channel switch. And you can see uh, these two versions. Uh, this is K1 to K6 so that means S1 to S6 and the K com and this is K com and this need work with DC 12 volt uh, this is positive and this is negative of the 12 volt and this is D1 to D6 just like this D1 to D6 this is the LD indicator of the relay state feedback. What this means? Uh, just give this D1 12 volt, and uh, this uh, S1 will be light. And if you give the D2 12 volt, and uh, this S2 will be light. So this is almost as thin as this mechanical verse. So this switch panel can instead of this one. This can instead this one. And also you can use this switch panel instead of this one. So you can use either kind of this version. And I tell you uh, the decon and uh, the negative 12 volt all is connected together. The kcon, decon and the negative of the 12 volt is connected together inside of the PCB board. So you just need to connect to the 12 voltage. So this is the diagram of the switch panel. Now we can see this is, this is six gun switch panel. I have connect with the cable. We can have a test. You can see I use two network cable, C85 cable. Uh, this cable is for S1 to S6. Uh, this is use the 300 like this network cable. I have used this switch panel connected with the whole 300 network uh, for the long distance testing. Just use this one and connect the whole cable. And this, this is two line. This is one side and this another side. This side is connected with the S1 to S6. I also connect with the 12 volt, and uh, this is another side have connect with the uh, uh, switch terminal board. The switch terminal board will have connect with S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, and the 12 volt uh, gets the power from this board. So this have connect with the switch terminal board. Now you can see I have let the relay output connect with the 12 volt for feedback to this uh, D1 to D6. This is the feedback line because I need the LD indicate for the relay state. So it will be feedback from relay output and from here. Okay, now I can press the button, like this is S1. Uh, you can see the relay is on, and the feedback state is blue. 
and two, three, four, five, six. So you can see the relay one, two, relay six is on, and also I can turn off relay and turn on relay, and also I can turn off relay like this. Turn off relay. So this is controlled by my hand. And also you can use my mobile phone, like this MQTT dashboard, and the software. You can see I can turn on relay one. Uh, this is relay one will be on. And turn off relay one, and relay will be off. Uh, this is feedback. And also I can turn on relay one by my hand, and this icon is changed. And I turn off, this icon is changed. And also I can use this mobile phone because last video I have said tell you we can use two mobile phones connect with the cloud server. Uh, this also can use King Kong Smart Home. Like this, I can turn on relay one, turn on relay two, and relay three, and relay four. So this will be have the feedback and also I can if I turn off suddenly the King Kong Smart Home just like drop down to refresh the release state, so you can see the so tool is off, and this is tool relay is on, and tool relay is on. So this is how to get the feedback of the relay, and we can manually control by the panel. And uh, when you at the night, uh, you can see this is the relay is on, the LD indicator. I can turn off. This is a little LD for the blue. I can turn off my light, I can give you see the light because at night you can see the indicate. You can see if at the night there are a little blue that is for indicate uh, at night you get up, you can see the icon. So when you turn on and the relay, the light will be more light. And the brightness is different when you turn off. Okay, now I think you can understand the touch switch panel. And if you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. We will give you feedback quickly. Okay, thanks for watching.